But we are currently staying near Chesapeake High School's robotics program, which has been going on for over a decade. Their students, working on Jeremy 1 and Jeremy 2, their newest robots, have shown hard work and dedication towards their craft. They have a competition soon, and they're hoping to do really successful on it. The class is broken into two groups. There's um, a group that's working on competition robots, and they're just so busy getting ready for the competition season that they just stay engaged pretty much on their own. The other is an introductory very rudimentary robotics so we give them little tasks and then we keep building on those little tasks so it's not this one big task that they have to do it's broken into tiny little parts so it's easy to digest as a student our goal at the moment is to definitely get to state and then to be able to do well in state we're looking at top five i would say in the state at the moment and that's really our aim for this year my favorite thing about robotics is the atmosphere uh, it brings it brings a lot of people together and we learn um, as a whole just how much the um, community can learn from each other. We see how much we um, not only build off of each other, but actually what we can accomplish together. Well, we've won a lot of tournaments. We have trophies for local tournaments up here, which qualified us for state. And we have qualified for state 10 out of 10 years. So that's quite an achievement. And now we're also starting a drone team to fly and program drones uh, through the same organization. As you can see, the robotics team is working very hard on the newest robots, Jeremy 1 and Jeremy 2. We wish them, as Chesapeake High School, we wish them luck in their future competitions, and we hope they'll become our champions. As for Chesapeake News, this is Hunter Swan, and goodbye.